Okay, this is the video to help you do the equations with fractions exercise. Hopefully you've already done the equations exercise and you're pretty good at solving equations. This is just to take it a little bit further. If you print out the page, it comes out like this, which is quite nicely fitting onto an A4 sheet of paper. You can do your working here and then type the answers online to see if you're getting them right. Okay then, let's start off with example one which will be slightly different to the example that you get on the, uh, the actual web page because they're generated randomly so you'll get different numbers but the same sort of setup. Okay I've got a third of x is equal to 12 and I want to know what x is equal to. So I don't want a third of it, I want a whole of it, I want all of x. So what do I have to do to this left side of the equation to give me x. I have to multiply it by 3 to get rid of that third, to undo the dividing by 3. And if I do that to the left side of the equation, I also have to multiply the right side of the equation by 3 as well to keep the equation balanced. So 3 times 12 is 36. So there's the first answer, x is 36. You would type 36 into the online exercise. These questions are quite similar. Multiply both sides by 5 to leave y by itself. So y is equal to 55. Here we'd multiply both sides by 7. And even though it's the other way around, it still tells you that then w is equal to 84. Now this question, we have the a, which we're looking to find the value of, and it's being added to two sevenths. So to leave the a by itself, which is what we want, we'll need to subtract that two sevenths. And if we subtract two sevenths from the left of the equation, in order to keep it balanced, we have to subtract two sevenths from the right of the equation as well. So two sevenths taken away from six sevenths will leave four sevenths. Now when you type a fraction online, you use the, the slash symbol on your keyboard to get the fraction line, and then the fraction will look like that. Okay, example five. This time we need to add three sevenths in order to get rid of the subtract three sevenths. It's the opposite operation, the inverse operation. So b will equal, and if we've added three sevenths here, we have to add 3 sevenths to the right side as well, so that will give us 5 sevenths. Now here, a similar question, even though it's written the other way around, we need to add 3 sevenths to both sides of the equation. So C will equal 6 sevenths. Right, now way down at the bottom here, the last three questions. I'll multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of this denominator here. So m is equal to, and when you multiply this fraction by 3, you will get 9 tenths. Multiply both sides of this equation by the 4, and that will leave us with n equals, and if we multiply 2 ninths by 4, we'll get 8 ninths. And this final example, we need to add two-fifths to both sides to leave the s by itself. So on the right, we'll have a quarter, add two-fifths. And the way we can do that is by finding a common denominator, which in this case is 20. What did I have to do to the quarters to turn them into twentieths? Well, I multiplied that 4 by 5, so I'll need to do the same to the number on the top to keep the fraction of the same value. What did I do to 5 to turn it into a 20? I multiplied by 4, so I'll have to do the same that to the top number there to keep it of the same value. So the answer is 13 twentieths, and I didn't have enough room. Okay, have a go at the online exercise, press the check button regularly to see if you're getting the questions right, and then claim your trophy at the end, and then come back here for level two. <music> the questions in level two of the online exercise are 
two-step solutions. So there are two things you need to do in order to find the value of the letter. So first of all, I'll multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of the fraction. That will give me 3x equals 36. Then I'll divide both sides by 3 to give me x is equal to 12. Question 2. I'll multiply both sides of the equation by 7. That will give me 168 on the right and just leave me with the 6y on the left. And then I'll divide both sides by 6. So y is equal to 28. Question number 3. I'll multiply both sides by 9 which leaves me with 8w is equal to minus 144. And then I'll divide both sides by 8. So w is equal to 18. Example number 4. I'll multiply both sides by 3. And then I'll subtract 3 from both sides. I'll multiply both sides by 6. And then I'll add 7 to both sides. I'll multiply both sides by h. And then I'll divide both sides by 3. So h will be equal to 3. So have a go at level 2. Don't forget to press the check button regularly and then come back here for level 3. Questions in level 3 generally are three-step solutions, more or less. So let's have a go. What shall we do first? We'll multiply both sides by 4. So that will give us 3a plus 2 is equal to 20. Then we'll subtract 2 from both sides. That will give us 3a is equal to 18. And then we'll divide both sides by 3, so a is equal to 6. Next question, we'll multiply both sides by 5. So 4c minus 1 is equal to 35. Then we'll add 1 to both sides. 4c is equal to 36. And then we'll divide both sides by 4. c is equal to 9. For question 3, we'll multiply both sides by 5. 4e plus 4 is equal to 20. And then we'll subtract 4 from both sides. That will leave us with 16. So divide both sides by 4 and e is equal to 4. Multiply both sides by 7. 6 sevens are 42. That's equal to the 4f minus 8. Now I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So 50 is equal to 4f. So now I'll divide both sides by 4. If you divide 50 by 4, you get 12 and a half. So you could type it in like that, or you could type it in as an improper fraction, 25 over 2. Either way, will be marked correct. Right, so let's have a look at this question. I think, first of all, we need to take away two-thirds from both sides. That will leave us with 3x over 4 is equal to 3. Then we need to multiply both sides by 4. 3x is equal to 12. And then divide both sides by 3. x is equal to 3. Four. This time I think we need to add a quarter to both sides first. So 2y over 3 is equal to 2 because 1 and 3 quarters added onto a quarter is 2. Then we'll multiply both sides by 3. And then we'll divide both sides by 2. So have a go at level 3. Click the check button regularly and then come back here for level 4.
Okay, level four, and I've just chosen one example this time because I've got a feeling you're getting the hang of this now. Let's get rid of that denominator by multiplying both sides by five. So that will leave us with eight X minus three on the left of the equation. And then if we multiply all of this by five, we'll get 20 X plus 15. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three to both sides. So eight X is equal to 20 X plus 18. And then I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. So minus 12 X is equal to 18. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 12. So X is equal to negative 18 over 12, which is equal to, if I divide top and bottom by six, I'll get the fraction in its lowest form, three over two. So that's what you would type in. Now, even though minus three over two is technically correct as well, the answer that's being looked for is with the minus sign in front of the fraction. So just do it like that when you type it into the online page. Okay, have a go at level four and then come back here for level five. Now in level five, there's a mixed bag of questions. So I've just picked one at random to demonstrate to you. And I think it's the same method that you probably use for some of the other questions in level four, but maybe it'll just take one extra step to get this solution. So you've probably learned that the trick by now is to get rid of the denominators. So I think I'll do two multiplications in one step. I'll multiply both sides by five to get rid of that denominator, and I'll multiply both sides by 10x plus three to get rid of that denominator. So we'll have five lots of this numerator here, which will give me 25x minus five. And then on the right, that two is being multiplied by that denominator there. So I'll have 20x plus six. Do you remember to multiply the both of those terms by that two to get the 20x plus six. Now I'll subtract 20x from both sides and add five to both sides. So I'll get five x is equal to 11. And then I'll divide both sides by five. So the answer is 11 over five. That of course is an improper fraction so you could write it down as a mixed number, two whole ones and one fifth. Okay, now it's your turn to have a go at the online exercise. Don't forget to press the check button regularly as you're working through the questions to see if you're getting them right. And if you make a mistake, have another think and correct your answer and then press that check button again. Don't forget to claim your trophy when you've got to the end and there are Lots more activities on the Transom website for you to have a go at to improve your mathematics and you can claim hundreds of trophies. So, what are you waiting for? Get going. Bye. You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transom.org where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.